training YOLO on the CPU or training YOLO on the GPU. You probably already know that training a deep learning model on the GPU is much faster, but how faster? Hi everyone, my name is Sergio and I am the founder of PyStores. Today we are going to train a YOLO model using around 1000 plus images where we're going to detect three objects. I have belt, a belt, camel and violin. So you have around 300, 350 images per each model. So that's why 1000 and plus images. To put things in perspective, uh, considering that not every CPU and not every GPU is the same, uh, I'm going to show you the model that I have. So this is the CPU and it is an AMD 2600, which has six cores, 3.4 gigahertz. And if you have Intel, it's comparable to an Intel A5. Cost of this CPU is $150. GPU, this GPU is GTX, NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti. Uh, decent GPU for gaming, not the best, but still a nice GPU. And cost of this GPU, $280, $300. Um, so before starting, I will suggest you to keep watching till the end of the video because whether you have the CPU or whether you have the GPU, I'm going to give you some tips for both of them. Let's start. Uh, on the left side, we have the GPU and on the right side, we have the CPU. Now I'm going to speed up this one really quickly and we see the minutes counting and on the left side, we see the hour. At one hour, we're going to stop and compare them. So if we take a look on the GPU after one hour of training, we see iterations uh, 810 and approximate time left 7 hour 26 minutes. And you see here on the graph, it doesn't look so bad. So we see in just one hour, there was a really big progress. While on the CPU, if we check iteration, it looks 23 it looks like it just started uh, despite the fact that it has been going already for one hour and if we check the approximate time left it says 571 hours and this is just an estimation so it doesn't mean that it is going to stay that long but it, this estimation it's already telling us that uh, no matter what is going to stay a really long time anyway okay uh, let's Fast forward this one till five hours and then we will see what's after five hours. So two hours, three hours, four and five. Okay, this is what it looks like after five hours. We see the GPU at 2,500 and more iterations and we see approximate time left still seven plus hours because you know it's not that accurate, the time estimation. And also, we, if we see the GPU, we see just 105 iterations and time left 421 hours. Now we're going to fast forward till the training ends with the GPU so that we can finally make a real comparison. So now we're again at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12.30. Okay, 12.30, we can see that our training is completed, at least for our GPU. The GPU reached around 6,000 iterations in 12 hours and 30 minutes. And so we can consider this training for the GPU completed. While the CPU in 12 hours, 30 minutes, only reached 213 iterations. So if we make an estimation, we can say that the model was training with the GPU at around 500 iterations per hour, while with the CPU only around 17, 18 iterations per hour. So we're now going to test the YOLO model in real time that we have just created. And I downloaded a few pictures with the phone where I have a camel, violin, and the belt, which are the pictures I trained the model YOLO 4, the classes I trained the model YOLO 4. So we have the camel, another camel. With the camel, it is working really well. 
another camel we see around 100 percent violin this one the belt the belt doesn't work so well probably didn't have this type of belts on the data set probably we have um, it will work only with the belt if it's on someone so on the trousers so let's see this one uh, yes and here it works so this is mostly because of the data set that i had so that's the problem and by the way if you're interested about object detection i'm building a new video course where I, we will have object detection with opencv and deep learning so there will be also yolo the yolo version 4 and many things how to train yolo for multiple classes and how to solve the most common problems how to uh, use yolo version 4 on the jetson nano on the raspberry pi and much more so if you're interested i will leave the link below in the description so that you can read more and if you want you can ask questions about what will be and if that fits for your project and now before concluding i want to reply to the first question we had so how faster is the training with the gpu so according to the statistics and the time that took to train with the gpu it was around 12 hour 30 minutes uh, i expected that with the cpu it will take to make 6000 iterations around 14 days and it will be 14 days non-stop 24 7. So we can say that the GPU, at least the GPU model that I have in comparison with the CPU that I have, is 30 times faster. And so if you have different models, maybe it will not be 30 times, could be uh, either higher than 30 times, either around 20 or something like that. So my suggestions, if you have only a CPU, okay you can train yolo but do it with just a few images like 100 images so do that just uh, if you want to experiment with yolo it's not a good idea to train yolo for more images with the cpu especially if you have a laptop you might damage your laptop using the gpu 100 percent for so long you have to consider that uh, i left the cpu around 24 hours and it was reaching around 85 degrees celsius uh, and it's a lot you can damage your gpu like at least shorten the life of your uh, not gpu but cpu this is all for now by the way the next time i'm going to release a video on how to build a deep learning computer with a really low budget so if you're interested about training with gpu i would suggest you to subscribe because the next video it will be really interesting see you